Oh, we've got a P1 over here in trouble. Comes this guy. Who doesn't seem to be paying any notice to me right now. It's the P47 from earlier. Can he pull up for us? Yeah, he is. There we go. Okay, the funny mills are doing their job. You are very welcome, dude. Oh, you're just in time. Oh, you're dead. He may straight up ignore me. No, he's not going to. Okay. There we go. It's fighting time. Yak of some sort. Blacking out a little bit. Should catch him out here. On the upswing. Throttle back. Back on the whip. And we're on a six. Gonna stall out for us a little bit. Okay, you got him crit. May fly me over this BTR. He doesn't look like he's doing so well, actually. He's okay. Wait, where are you? Teammates are also firing. Some definite sparks there. There he goes, Jack one. Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be flying the Zero. This one specifically is the A6 M5 Co. It is one of the very first premiums I bought myself back in the day. Now this aircraft came as a pack. It also came with a XP38 and it also came with some campaign missions. And I actually bought this pack before I even had played the game along with the KV-1E. To be perfectly honest with you, I don't remember ever playing this thing. Now, last week I made a video on how to do close air support in the F2A Buffalo and it kind of annoyed quite a few people. And I can honestly understand why a lot of people took to the skies with buffaloes and other things with 50 cals and started bullying tanks and ground RB. But today we're going to put those players in their place using one of the best turn fighters in the entire game. Now, from what I understand, in the last few months this thing has been buffed. These are the Type 99 20mm cannons. They got a lot more explosive filler and they do a lot more damage. And taking this thing out for the first time in ages, it really shows. Before, these things would just spark, do not a lot of damage at all. Even if you caught aircrafts on a complete deflection shot, they just wouldn't really do the damage that you think they should. But now things are vastly improved. Yeah, they have definitely got a lot more potential to take out targets in the air. And not only that, they chuck out quite a bit of shrapnel, so whenever you shoot at open top SPAAs, there's a chance you can ammo rag them and blow them up too. Operation Strategist event is a go as well, which means there's a lot of Tismas, there's a lot of 410s, BF 110s, and other things that are doing cast and creating real serious problems for units on the ground. So I thought it would be my job to make sure that the skies are clear and we can win some games by taking out all the enemy's close air support. So, the challenge is to kill five aircraft and do as much damage to the ground as we possibly can without dying ourselves. Now to get into said aircraft, we're going to be taking out the Cheeto Late. I've actually done a video on this particular vehicle already. But yeah, this thing is a fantastic vehicle. It sits at 4.7, it's got a very potent gun. Unfortunately, a lengthy reload, but whatever we hit, we should kill with one shot or at least cripple it so we can take it out with a second hit. And it's probably the most ideal vehicle right now for getting us into our aircraft. Okay, let's take to the skies and see how we do. Alrighty, big map, full up tier. We are going to be facing off against the Russians and all the Allies as well. Out of all of the vehicles I'm more scared of is 50 cals, especially if there's multiple aircraft up at one time. We can get easily baited. And a single 50 cal to a fuel tank or any important piece of my aircraft we're definitely going to die. So, wrestling multiple opponents in the sky is going to be the most difficult thing. Especially when there's no real area to go hide in, like uh, on Italy where you've got cliffs or Ash River. So, this is just going to be a big open space of air. The good news is though, SPAA is going to have a harder time hitting us. Just because we don't need to be close across the battlefield fighting opponents generally. Should be able to reverse most things with ease. There is enemies close by here already, which I'm assuming is going to be M18s. I hope so because 
Those will be nice and easy targets to take out. Okay, what have we got here on our binos? That looks like a jumbo, actually. Which is not ideal at all. I hit that guy through. Cover! Didn't quite work out. That's uh, another jumbo. In fact, is that a... That's not a jumbo. I think that may be a 105. Oh, that's definitely not a 105. But it's a 75 Sherman. Some sort. Is there something pushing my right? Yep, there might be something right here. I definitely hear something here. Holy crap. What is this? Oh, it's a little Swedish thing, I think. IKV, yeah. Okay, just had to wait till he fired to get him. This Sherman's now crossing open ground. Okay, that was our jumbo. French jumbo. We've got more things pushing across that I saw, but that was the main one. M10. Okay, dead. Something else is fired over here. That's not a jumbo. I think that's just a cast hole. German. I'd like to get a clear shot on him though. M42. Oh, right here. Bad shot. Does he see me? Yes, he does. Another jumbo. Oh, he's 75, boy. Definitely got planes coming in now already. Damn, where is my shots landing? Very low, I think it's because of the way my gun's positioned. Okay, he fired this time. Finally, okay, we got him down. Let's try and get this B cap. We're probably gonna get killed here, that's okay though, now we've got planes up. What is this? Swedish thing. A21. Actually a terrifying beast, that thing. Yeah, else here. There goes my gunner. I didn't notice this guy. That was a Achilles. Okay, it's zero time. We got an ace in the ground though. Let's see if we can get an ace in the air. Right, altitude is gonna be my friend right now. This A21 is bullying our ground forces. One thing I don't want to get trapped into is going vertical while he's still got a little bit of energy left. Those guns on that thing will destroy me. No issues. And he's energy fighting very well. I think he just lost a piece of his plane though. Is he going down? Yeah, he's down. Oswind got him. Good job, Austin. Okay, we're just going to hang up here for a little while. We're not going to go near their air spawn though. That's cheating. There's one coming in. Let's get ourselves over there. Might be another... Sweden boy. I would not be surprised if this is a B-18. This battle rating will be the good one. Maybe the 57mm cannon version or... One with all the twenties in the nose. I 
Okay. It comes wherever it is. Doesn't seem interested in me just now. Oh, now he is. Now he is. French boy. Okay, we got him trapped. He's gonna extend now. Friendly shooting at him, I think. He's just gonna kill himself. I think he is. Yeah, he did. I don't know why he'd do that. It's a very angry SBA down here too. It's an M10 somewhere. We're ahead of the enemy. Door 335? <laughs> it's a scary thing to see. Head on up to you. The Doom Diver. Is this our M10 down here? Definitely an open top. Okay, got his turret crew out. We're out for now. Another M10. We could get two kills straight away just in tanks. That oh, was a Jackson actually. That is a French SPA, which means I am out of here. It was very close. Look at this 335 try and deal with that. Oh, he's not going Yeah, he is. He is. Yeah, get him, dude. Get him. <laughs> this guy's still focusing me even though this 335 shooting him. What's going on? I think that might be a BTR that's just got bit there. Okay, you got some damage to him. Got an ammo rack on this guy. We're just going to use our machine gun rounds now on this other M10 to save some of our cannon rounds. Teammates after this truck, dude. He's dead. Nothing critical that time just because his gunner's tucked away in. Should give him at this angle though. Maybe his last member in the turret crew that we need to kill, yes. Good. Something on B. Don't see any planes yet. We got a J2M up as well, which is very good at taking out aircraft. Don't see anything. Oh yeah, I see him now. Another open top. SPAA. There's another ammo rack. That's three. Sad we didn't get that plane that we'd have been, we'd have been four kills by now. Enemy bird coming in. Let's see if we can spike him without him noticing. IL-2. Terrible shots. It's going up though. Okay, there goes a wing. God, these 20 mils hit pretty hard. That's not easy to do in an IL-2. That's for sure. Okay, one more. One more. Only got one air kill though. Feel kind of cheesy shooting ground targets. Oh, here we go. This is going to be a dogfight for sure. An actual dogfight. Okay, you rolled the other way. There we go. He's not taking the bait. He doesn't want to turn fight me. <laughs> Quite right too. Did I have to add 219? Yes, he is. He's got plenty of speed as well. It's going to be risky going across the ground here. There's so many enemies with 50 cows too. That's a BTR fire enemy. Let's keep dodging. Last seven actually. Ooh, I, I actually 
It's stung pretty hard there with the SPA. Nah, he's doing the right thing. That M16 is the death of me. I'm going to get out of here. I would rather try and reverse this last 7 than deal with 50 cal <laughs> and 14.5 millimeter. He's coming in. I almost want him behind me. I'm going to pretend like I don't see him. Pull in. And up we go. Okay, you messed up. Let's see what you got here. Okay, we got one fire. That's really cheesy though, I don't like that. Okay. Got his pilot. Is that a plane coming in? Here he is. Let's pull in underneath him. some hits. Is this a P-36? I think it is. We'll need a flap for this guy. Try and keep a bit of speed. He's definitely not going to survive that. No elevator? Nope. Okay, we're off. We're off. Okay, we still got plenty of ammo. It's not going to crash though. <laughs> I think he's using his flaps to stay in the air. God, look at the SPAA firing at me now. <laughs> yeah, okay, we're out of here. We are definitely out of here. I won't be surprised if I get sniped here right now. We can use this terrain as cover though. There he goes. It was a P-36. Okay, good. Things went extremely well. And we're still up though. Still got rounds. I think we've got three aircraft and three ground units so far. Very pleased. This guy really wants me dead, this BTR. I'd really like to fight another plane. He did take some extra damage here, I think. Whenever we're flying over the spawn. I can't tell if he was trying to ram me or if he's just being friendly. I've been team killed three times today already for either being me or people trying to get to the number one spot on the team. Nice job dude, well done. Need to crit the gunner so we can get everybody else out. Not gunner still alive. At least we hit him though. And J2 is away. So so are we. He is very upset. Get him J2. He's all yours, dude. I think he's reloading actually. Mm -hmm. You're shooting at the wrong guy. <laughs> I hope we got his gunner. We can hopefully finish him off now. Oh, he's not dead. Okay. Well, <laughs> rest in peace. We got six kills though. That's more than an ace, and I'm happy enough with that. All right, we're on colossally sized Poland, and I don't think we've been treated too harshly with the battle rain. We are facing off against USA and Russia though. Uh, I don't know if we should just go do a little bit of snipey sniping over this way. Just go straight up towards the rocks. I just want to get a couple of early kills so we can get up in our plane. Look after the skies. The good news is that Russia and USA like to bring out a lot of aircraft. And they're generally heavy and easy to outturn. I don't know how Gaijin decided that these two vehicles are in the same battle rain. 
Oh my god. Yeah, okay. It used to be 5 0 and it was still very good there. Oh, there's people over here already. It's an SU 85, I think. No, oh, maybe not. I landed low. I don't particularly want to repeat that now. I'm gonna have to. I don't think there's any other way I can get a shot on him. Trying to move. Attention to the map. There goes one. Attention to the map. Attention to the designated grid zone. Just missed it. He's going all the way around this guy. Can't let him do this. Okay, got him. One more, I think, over there. That getting over there is like God mode. Because it means you can shoot into the spawn on this side. And our spawn on the other side doesn't have any cover. So you don't want to let enemies get there. That's for sure. There's still one guy over here. Two actually. Loader only. What is that? I'm not even sure. That was scary. Job are reversed. Oh, he's got a quick reload. That's an orange breach though. Way too low. Something just smoked there. Where are you going? I'm full of lunatic. That was a ghost shell because I hit him. And it, how you can tell it's a ghost shell is there's no ground effect where the shell lands. So that kind of sucks. That happens sometimes. Right, okay. My round just seemed to disappear through this guy. 16 rounds left. He's watching me though, I think. He's moving. And he just got shot. One more up here. SU. Hopefully not on M. Bad shot on him. I want him to stop and look at me. He's in cover now. What fired at him? Oh, this guy. Okay, he's dead. I think that's the guy we already took a crew member out of. And three kills and an assist. Hello, dude. We got a spicy Italian with us. See over the water here. T3457 still running amok. Actually, we got a few guys pushing pretty close now. One plane up. What was that? Our guy's up here. We might be able to see him from here. There we go. That's the one. Yeah, okay, we're gonna hop off out of the vehicle. Let's hop into the zero. Try and get some kills. Okay, let's go. We got one over the bat two over the battlefield actually. E39. You might get killed by an SPAA by the time we get down here. I don't want to be carrying too much speed. I just want Altitude, so we can change our energy states whenever we want. I think this guy is on his way out now, though. He's just rolling about. That big boy, he's off the land. 
And I think this guy is doing the exact same thing. Yeah, he's just having a wee... A wee party to himself. Rolling and rolling. I do see an open top boy down here. Which could be our first kill. Okay. Number uno. Took a lot of shots, but we got him. Back up we go. Always feel guilty killing those. Ooh, a fresh spawn. It is ma of all things. Okay, you got him crit. I'm just gonna break off him from now. His AI gun has actually got me. Oh, okay, he's dead. Uh, his AI gun had me locked in. He didn't kill anyone, thankfully. Let's keep an eye on the runway, fellas. It's two kills. One and one. Big boy's on his way back in. I'm not going to go focus on him right now. I'm going to give him a chance to climb a little bit. Now there's another fighter coming in too. I'm going to have to dogfight this guy first. Okay, let's keep this fight over this side. If they want to run back to the airfield, I'll let them do it. Spotted me. Rolling underneath. Got some sparks on him. It's a wing tip gone. Just keep some MG fire on him. Oh my goodness, that took a while. Right, where's the big boy now? Here he is. Okay, you got him too. IL-4. Now that guy's still on the runway. I think, is that their airfield shooting me? I don't think so. It might be. No, no, no. That's an enemy or a teammate firing long range. This guy's coming up off the ground. I think we got another fighter up. Yes, we do. Yeah, that's an enemy SPA firing at me. I'm gonna go low, and we'll see if we can tussle with both of these planes at the one time. This guy is climbing. He's waiting on his friend, taking off. This should be fun. I don't think I can take on two planes at once, but we'll try. P-39's a good boy too. Are they looking for me or... I'm not sure what's going on here. Right, we're going underneath them. The whip. Very close to the airfield, which is not ideal. That's a big boy. IL-2. Oh, I'm gonna get killed by his gunner here. Come on. Come on, anything at all. There we go. Oh, we're on fire. No! <laughs> Dive, dive, dive. Can we put it out before my pilot dies? I don't think so. 
I think it's... Oh, we got out, we got out. Okay, this truck's firing at me. Okay, we got him crit. Not as good as I don't think. Yes, okay. We got an enemy plane. I can't believe we put the fire out. Yes, okay, perfect. Nice. I think that's four aircraft. Five aircraft. Two ground units. Another plane. We're not in a good condition. <laughs> not at all. We might be able to pick up another kill here. Okay, juke them a little bit. Looks like he's going to crash. <laughs> I'll take it. I'll definitely take it. Okay, we're in for this for the long haul. So let's try and get back to the airfield. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that was intense. <laughs> that was intense. That fire was so lucky. Look at the state of my aircraft. Holy crap. That's a lot of holes. Just made us more lightweight. Just ignore the fact we're leaking fuel everywhere. Yeah, all I did was nose down as fast as I could on web. Then just cut the engine immediately. It seemed to have worked. I don't know if that actually helps or if it was just RNG. Two enemies left. Let's see if we can make it back home though no, for a bit of roleplay. Nice and easy. Bleeding energy, no problem at all. I don't think the gear's very sturdy on this thing though. No. We've got plenty of machine gun rounds to slow us down. Let's be very gentle with it. And there we go. Touchdown. Beautiful. <laughs> Made it back home. My pilot is as injured as he could be <laughs> without being dead. Oh my goodness. I've actually got a bullet hole in my nose cone. One guy left and we're about to cap the B cap. And that should put us top of the team. And with an air ace in ground RB. And there we go. Nice. GG. The one thing I do love about War Thunder is that there's a counter to everything. So if there's a lot of cast spam, you can definitely take out a one particular aircraft just to get rid of them all. And Japan is definitely the nation to do that. And just about every single battle rating, you've got some sort of aircraft that will outturn most other aircraft at the battle rating, and you've got a vehicle to get you in there too. We've got the Chaffee, we've got the Bulldog as well, we've even got the Type 89 at 8.3, but for me, my happy place is down where World War II and post-war vehicles are. And I really enjoyed myself flying the A6M5 Co. Anyway, thank you guys very much for watching. Much love and bye-bye.